What's up guys? In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to perform some trigonometry calculations with your iPhone's calculator. Now the first thing you need to do is obviously put the iPhone calculator in advanced mode and to do that simply launch the calculator, make sure auto rotation lock is disabled and put your iPhone in landscape mode and the calculator will turn into this more advanced calculator. Now from here, if you have an example of something like 18 multiplied by the cosine of 52, 18 being the multiplier and 52 being the angle. Uh, the way you input it on your iPhone calculator is slightly different from most other calculators, especially the Casio scientific calculators. Because normally on those calculators, you'll just input it the way it is. You just put 18, then press cosine, and then press the angle 52, and you'll get your answer. But on the iPhone, it's a little bit different. So the first thing you're gonna do is input the angle first. So the angle is in degrees, so make sure there's nothing like rad at the top there, because if it's in radians, then you should see rad at the top there, but make sure it's in degrees, so it's empty. So the first thing you need to do on your iPhone's calculator is input the angle first, and then press cos to get the cosine of that. And after that, is when you now multiply with a multiplier. So I'm gonna multiply now by 18 equals, and then I'll have my answer right there. So that's the only way to get it right on the iPhone's calculator. Input the angle, get the cos or the sine or the tangent, whatever it is you're calculating, and then multiply the answer of that with a multiplier. Now let's talk inverse trigonometry, where you have two sides, uh, you have to get the ratio, and then get the inverse sine, inverse cosine, or inverse tangent. So for that one, let's say you have two sides, eight and 10. So the first thing you need to do is calculate the ratio first. So eight over 10, put eight divided by 10, calculate that first, get the answer. And once you get the ratio, it's not time to get the inverse sine, inverse cosine, or inverse tangent of that particular answer. So what you want to do is press the second button on the calculator, this one written second, and that brings you new options including inverse sine, inverse cosine, and inverse tangent. So from here, go ahead and put your inverse trigonometry. So for instance, if you want to get the inverse sine, so now tap on inverse sine, and now you get the angle from that. And that's basically how to perform trigonometry calculations on your iPhone's calculator. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.